Hi, welcome to the third segment of Rain and Queen Speaks, the election special. Now, on November 2nd, there's going to be a couple of propositions for California, and this is how I think you should vote. So first, let's look at Proposition 19. Proposition 19 would legalize marijuana smoking cultivation for persons 21 and older. Now, I think this is a pretty clear yes to vote on Proposition 19. I think that if we legalize marijuana, that means there's going to be an increase of funds for California. Marijuana is literally a cash crop industry that will create lots of money for California. And there are a few negative aspects that anti-Prop 19 ads have come out with, but they're not very good. So let's discuss them, shall we? First, opponents of Prop 19 say that marijuana is a gateway drug to cocaine and methamphetamines. Uh, there is no research to support this claim, and in fact, there is research that shows that alcohol is actually a bigger gateway drug to cocaine and methamphetamines. And marijuana isn't one of those things. Second, they say that marijuana will create cancer. And not just that it'll give you cancer, but it'll give you cancer more than cigarette smoking will. Now, cigarettes have an additives that are added to the nicotine and tobacco that give you cancer. Marijuana doesn't have additives that way. And there is no research that shows that marijuana does give you cancer. In fact, cancer patients and also people with chronic pain and other ailments are prescribed marijuana currently under Proposition 215. So that claim is debunked. Finally, opponents of Prop 19 say that this will increase drugged driving. I don't think so. I actually think that drug driving will decrease because it will be legal. People won't have to, you know, smoke from place to place because they aren't allowed to smoke marijuana or they don't have to hide it from anyone. It'll be legal so they can smoke it in the privacy of their own home. Furthermore, there is actually a study that says that smoking marijuana actually increases your concentration when you're driving. Not that it advocates that you do smoke and drive, but there are no real negative effects to smoking and then driving. So, vote yes on Proposition 19 to increase the money that's going to go to California. And remember, there are no real negative side effects to smoking marijuana other than maybe some munchies and being more relaxed. 20. Proposition 20 is a clear no. Now, what Proposition 20 wants you to do is redistrict the voting areas, and that would be actually more beneficial for politicians. So we want to vote no on 20 to not give the edge for the pro politicians who are comfortable uh, where, uh, to, to become comfortable and with new lines. Um, 21, 21's a little tricky. Now, 21 would put an $18 tax or fee on your registration of your vehicle. Now, some call this the bringing back the car tax. Now, the positive aspects of voting yes on 21 means that that $18 are going to state parks so that we have clean parks. So, you know, there's not random fires happening in buildings because of poor electrical outlets that our bathrooms in state parks are cleaner and therefore the wildlife in those state parks are much cleaner. Um, I lean towards a yes on 21 but I understand that politicians like to put their hands in funds that are voted yes by the people even though that fund is supposed to go to somewhere positive like a park. Now in this bill, it does state that there is a specific account for these parks, but who knows what the politicians are going to do with this one. But overall, I say sure, vote, 20, vote yes on 21, and it's an extra $18 on your vehicle registration, but if you ever want to go to a state park, you are free to enter, as you won't have to pay any fees to get into the state parks if this ballot is passed. 22. 
I believe you should vote yes on 22 because 22 basically prohibits the states from borrowing or taking funds that are allocated for transportation, redevelopment, and local government projects and services. So voting yes on 22 keeps the state's uh, hands out of those pockets and that way we have uh, better transportation systems and, you know, money that stays where it's supposed to. On 23, uh, we think we should vote no. Now, vote, now we've already passed a bill that that says, uh, that's the implementation of AB 32. We've already said yes to that. Now, those big businesses that are against AB 32 have tried to stall that from happening. So voting yes is actually voting no on what you've already passed. So 23 is a tricky one. We want to vote no to keep what we already passed enacted. On 24, we need to vote yes. 24 allocates funds for schools. Opponents against 24 say that uh, we're taking money away from small businesses. But I believe that when we look at the difference, we want to start a foundation. I think that having success in a small business starts at education and we need to build those foundations and I think once we have a good education we have students who grow up to be good business owners and good productive citizens. Uh, now I don't really think it hurts small businesses if it does pass it just means we get more money for education. 25 I believe that 25 also is another important yes Currently, it takes a two-thirds majority vote to pass the budget. Now, the budget has been a big issue for many, many years, and we've wanted to pass it, especially uh, schools and other organizations who depend on a budget to function haven't been able to because politicians take too long and can't come up with a majority vote to pass a budget. Now, voting yes on 25 means that we only need a majority of the vote to pass the budget. So that means politicians ha will take less time and get that budget passed to schools and other organizations so that they can get what they have to do out of the way. On 26, I believe we should vote no on 26 because big business and big oil companies want to pass 26 and in fact have funded 26 because they want us to be responsible for their pollutants. Now voting yes would mean that we're going to be responsible so we need to make a no vote on 26 and make big oil companies accountable for their messes. It is not our responsibility to pay fees for their mess. And finally on Proposition 27, I think that we need to vote yes on 27. This goes hand in hand with uh, Proposition 20, so a no on 20, a yes on 27. This will create safe redistricting lines for politicians. Um, politicians want you to vote the opposite so that they can kind of have their way with the lines, but we want a no on 20 and a yes on 27. So on those few propositions, I hope that you will take into account what I've talked about today and that on November 2nd, tomorrow or today, depending on when you're watching this video, you will go out and make those decisions. So whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, or a third party voter, it's important that you go out and vote November 2nd for those propositions and for all our elected leaders. I hope you read up on them and make sure that you're an educated voter. That way we make smart decisions. Thanks again for watching and peace be with you.